Welcome back to the Long Dark, everybody. I curious here. It's time for some challenges. This one is the hunted part one. The old bear is hunting us. We need to make it to the trapper cabin. Mystery Lake before he gets us. If we can do that, we should be able to get a rifle. I'm gonna that will soon. That will even the odds and allow us to go on the hunt. And give him a little taste of his own medicine. But as it stands now, we need to be very careful because we are hurt bad. Let's go ahead and uh, bandage so up here. Tired. I could just lay down right here. Don't do that yet. Don't do that. Let's at least get into the basement before you take a rest. Okay, let's get down here and see if we can find some things that can help us along the way here. So we got to cross all the way through Pleasant Valley, through Ravine, and across and across uh, Mystery Lake. So we got ourselves a flare gun, which is helpful. Okay, well, let's see if we have any clothes that we're not wearing for whatever reason. Man, we are pretty much naked. At least we got some good boots. Um, they're not in the best condition, but at least we have boots. Hopefully we find some more stuff in here to help out. Pork and beans. Crunchy stuff, some sardines, always sketchy. Eating sardines, hey. you just never know. Summit soda, glad to have that. A took, uh, cotton toque, wonderful. I'll throw that on right away before I forget. I need to do that with my clothes because I have a habit of uh, grabbing clothes and then forgetting to put them on. Hey, we got ourselves a knife down here. Not that it will help us much against uh, old bear, but uh, we'll take it anyway. It might help us uh, do some other things. All right, let's see here. What do we have here? We got that T-shirt. Let's throw that on. <laughs> it just makes us feel a little, little uh, more confident. Man, how would you like to be running around in this type of weather with just that? We got ourselves a flare. A uh, flare will not help us with the bear. Nothing in there. Nothing. Stump remover. I don't think, no, I'm, not, I'm just going to straight up drop that because we're not going to be making our own ammo. This uh, game is just going to weigh us down. Uh, all this... This was what we had. We had a really nice uh, plaid shirt, and some nice thermal underwear, and some ruined jeans, or some jeans. But they all got ruined by the bear. He ripped them to shreds. So we we'll tear these up and make them into cloth if we need to to repair some of these other items. This the the boots we're gonna have to we're gonna have to uh, get some leather for that. But uh, yeah, other other than that, we don't even have any water, do we? We just got this like summit soda. I don't even have a way to make water at this point. Oh my gosh, this this is like a rough start right so far. Some scrap metal. What we got here? We got some socks, a down vest, some sports socks again. Oh man, this is not a great start, honestly. I really don't want to. I, I need to keep moving just in order to keep ahead of the, the uh, thirst at this point. Wow. All right, let's throw on the vest. Yeah, we don't even have we don't even have pants. All right, I can't even I can't even really rest at this point. I need to keep going. I'd like to rest, but if what here's what happens: we rest and a blizzard comes, and then we're screwed. So we need to make hay while the, uh, the blizzard isn't killing us. I would say sun is shining, but obviously that's not gonna work. All right, guys. Ah, uh, well, for these challenge, no, there's a bear right there. Oh, shoot, he's, com he's coming at us. Oh, are you kidding me? Here, load this thing up. Get inside. All right. I need to take... I guess I'm just going to have to rest for a little bit. Look, I'm already tired, too. I'm, like, exhausted. And we're low on health. I guess we got to sleep. Well, let's just try to sleep for a short amount of time. Here's the thing. Here, here's the other thing. If I... I know I have food cans. So normally, here's what you do. We do have some water. Okay, good. Normally, I would break this can open. You know, can opener. Slice it open. Use it as a co cooking vessel. Unfortunately, I don't have a can opener, so I have to smash this thing open. And in the process of doing that, it ruins the can. So I can't use it to take snow, melt it, make it potable. That sucks. <laughs> really need a can opener. Or I need a pot. Or I need some more water bottles or something to tide me over. But what we really need now is some rest. So I'm going to go for about six hours. As much as I hate doing this. Uh, 
Oh my gosh. So, something that came along with the uh, series is I have a uh, sponsor for the series. First time I've ever had an, an official sponsor. And uh, I think I'll go ahead and, and introduce them now before we go out. And then we'll see what their bear is. Maybe, hopefully he's moved on a little bit. And a quick word from our series sponsor, NordVPN. Do you want to have extra privacy and flexibility while online? Sure, we all do. NordVPN is the leader in internet privacy and allows added flexibility by routing your internet traffic through any of their over 5,400 servers in 60 countries through an extremely intuitive and efficient user interface. In addition, you can access specialty servers for added security such as double VPN, onion over VPN, or P2P VPN servers. But for a casual user like myself, I personally use their proprietary NordLynx protocol for maximum speed. But wait, there's more, such as Kill Switch to automatically turn off your internet if the connection to the VPN server is lost. Or how about this, Split Tunneling, which only routes certain application traffic to the NordVPN server. There are so many other useful features to explore, and if you are interested, use the link nordvpn.com forward slash accurize2 and the promo code ACT2 for additional savings. Link in the description below. Alright guys. I don't know what to say after that. <laughs> If you need if you need a good VPN, please uh, check them out. I've been using them for quite a while now, and uh, really helps. So if you do, just uh, check uh, down in the description below, and there will be a uh, link. I think I mentioned that in the, uh, the ad anyway, but uh, what the heck. I'm new to this. I'm awkward. <laughs> I'm going to go this way because there's a rope over here, and I'm tired of running from my fears and oh, now I'm just kidding I will run from them again obviously looks like there's something dead over there but I'm not gonna go venturing over there oh son of a gun there he is I think the ropes right here if not we're we're scaling down this mountain it's happening I don't know where he's at he's probably he's scary okay oh there's a rope right there I'm gonna get low Oh, oh, there's a rope right here to get down to that one down there. Okay, so that's what we're going to do. We're just going to go right over here. Get rid of that sprain risk, which makes me paranoid, especially when I'm trying to run away from a bear. Try to be gentle about going down there. Hopefully he can't figure out how to get to me for a little bit here. All right, so we need to basically head over that way. And we got the... There's the... Oh, it just appears when you look down the... Okay. Right there's the barn. That's what I'm going for. Let's give it a shot. Our health is up about... I'd say about 40%. I had to guess. Alright. I'm going to grab some uh, wood from here. I don't know if I'm going to have a chance to grab some when we get down there. I might be running for my life. For poor Will's life. Uh, I think this is sort of like a plateau area. So I think we're kind of safe up here. Almost. Yeah, I think we're all right up here. What's the temp at? Uh, we're, we're cold. Negative. It feels like negative 14 degrees because I'm basically naked. All right. Well, let's see if we can see anything down here. I, th I, be I believe there's a cabin down here somewhere. I don't know if it's close to this rope or not. But, uh, oh yeah, right there it is. And we got some little wabbits down there. Alright, look both ways for killer bear. And then proceed with caution. Alright. Still a little sleepy. I would like to check the cabin, obviously. Hopefully we can find something that can save our life. But, my strategy for the hunted is just to keep moving. As much as possible. If weather dictates or if we have to stop because of something, uh, so be it. But I'm not going to sit here for days and try to establish, you know, make it all comfortable and things like that. That's not the point of this. I'm going to grab some of these. I don't know why we need them, but uh, scared the bunnies away. Either that or something else is scaring the bunnies away, which makes it even scarier. Grab some sticks. Okay. Play pickup sticks here. Seems like the bear kind of resets after you take a little nap. So, I don't know. Let's get in, inside this cabin. 
I got some rose hips is there there as well. I don't think I'm gonna be making any rose hip tea or anything like that anytime soon. We've got anything here, nothing there. Oh, did you give me anything in this cabin at all? Really? We got some work boots, which are even worse than the ones we have. But we can tear those down. Wow. So far, this cabin sucks. Oh my gosh. Wow. I really struck out with the, uh... Oh, well, great. More socks. Exactly what we didn't need. Okay. Alright, so that's how you're gonna play it. Hinterland. Okay, I see how it is. No, we're not gonna use that. We're gonna use our hands. I gotta save four minutes using our knife. Of course, who cares? I'm not gonna use the knife that much in this particular challenge anyway. Don't need to save it. Alright, I guess I guess we will. <laughs> After all that. Starting to get a little uh, dark. I would like to try to make it to the barn if possible. And then we'll hole up there for the night. Because there should be a truck still in there. Unless they've removed it, but been some updates and I, I don't know if I've been back since some of those major updates so things might have changed maybe there's two trucks there I don't know but we could stay here feels like one degrees but when we get in this nice bed it's gonna Cold is making my head feel it's gonna feel a lot better so um, let's see here I want to repair my clothes that's 56 that's 95 that's 23 49 37 22 which one's better this are rag those are trail boots and those are 22. The work boots are actually warmer? Really? But they're not as waterproof. They do offer a little more protection. They're a little heavier for running. I think I want to keep my speed up. Okay. Well. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Got enough water and drinks to make it through the night. I kind of want to go. Let's go. We're gonna be cold, but that's all right. Is bear on me? Oh shoot! Yeah, he is. Okay, let's see if we can get him. I can't believe he's yawning. <laughs> he's yawning like I'm kind of bored with this whole thing. All right, I'm gonna get up here see if I can break his pathfinding. A little bit, hopefully. Can I make it down here? I think I can. I'm probably gonna land right in his lap. He's gonna come right around the corner. So I'm ready to fire. Okay, let's go. Okay, we're out of we're out of juice. We're out of go juice for the time being. So need to recover. That's okay. Where's he at? Has he has he made it around? I think I broke his line of sight enough. I would drink almost anything about now. Oh man, the, the thoughts this guy has. All right, there's our there's our barn. That's that's my rendezvous point for the night. Hopefully, I can make it there. Okay, we can move a little bit faster here. I'm gonna slow down again. Save my running for other times. Like when a when a bear is hot in hot pursuit. Now I do have I have four of these. Well, I have one in the tube and then four more. But I want to try to save those for times when I absolutely can't get away from this guy. So, it's my only defense. It will work. It will scare him away. But... I, I do want to save it. How are we doing here? Slowly getting our breath back. I don't want to stop and even drink right now. Because that would require me to stop for like 10 seconds. Glug, glug, glug. And we're really cold right now, which isn't good, but that's okay. We're going to get inside. Hopefully we find some decent clothes. If not, there's a burn barrel in here, I believe. And there should be plenty of fuel to warm that place up. Plus, we have a truck to sleep in. Plus, our sleeping bag as well. So. So far, so good. Breaking that line of sight seemed to work really good. I got to watch out for wolves as well. All right, I'm going to go ahead and just run it. Run it back. Grab a couple more of these sticks while we're here. Okay. I do want to check this. I do want to check out this. Oh, we got two of them out here now? I think there used to only be one. Let's see, is there any... Nothing in here. 
<laughs> Two tractors out here now. Yeah, we got a candy bar down here or something. Granola bar. Cloth, we'll take that. Okay. Alright, I don't want to get... I'm cold. Let's just get inside. Let's not tempt fate too much. Especially when we're so much in the red here. Um, I think maybe I should I got some simple tools here. Let me do a quick run through here. Uh, what's our temperature in here? Negative five. Oh, it sucks. Bandage. Okay, that's always welcome. No fish hook. Who cares? Took it anyway. More cloth. We can use that to repair. Kind of want to get a fire going just straight away. We got some newspaper here. I could use this kindling. All right, let's get a fire going. There we go. Charcoal. I don't know why, but hey. Uh, yeah, let's just use the new sprint. I got 15 sticks. That's good. Let's go ahead and try doing one this way, the old fashioned way. If this doesn't work, maybe in two two tries, if I fail twice, I'll go ahead and use the accelerant. I think I picked up accelerant. Come on. Hopefully, we get it the first time. All right, we got it. We got it. We got it. Good, good, good. Okay, so. I don't have any way to don't have any no no. Let's add some fuel here. I'm gonna add a bunch of these reclaimed or yeah, we'll add a reclaimed wood. A bunch of these sticks. There we go. Keep about three of those. Alright, do we have any way to make water? We do have a recycle can. Good, 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 good. At least we have one of those. Um melting snow, go for it, baby. And drink that sucker, because we are thirsty. Now we're just tired. So we're taking a little bit of a health hit from being tired. 2% per My hour, so. It's just disappearing. Yeah, it's, yeah, it's not going to be bad. We'll be fine. Not worried about trying to focus on that too much. we got bigger priorities right now, like getting water. And then we're going to go upstairs and warm it up, which we're doing nicely. So I'm glad we made it here before sundown. Wasn't sure if that was going to happen or not, but it worked. Good. And we're going to just take all that. Keep rinsing and repeating. There we go. How much time we got here? Plenty. Oh, that's... I, I forgot to boil it, apparently. There we go. Take that. Keep doing this. Might need a torch to see upstairs. Or we could just wait till the morning. But if there's good clothes up there... Things that'll help keep us warm. We probably want to know about that. So, yeah, we'll probably take a torch from here. How are we doing on water now? Two liters. Okay, that's pretty good. I would like to get about three liters if possible. How are we doing down here? And we'll add, we'll add, we'll add one of these cedars to it. That's fine. Probably get about three and a half, four liters. It'd be nice if we had a big pot to cook, but or a couple cans actually. A couple pots would be nice. I don't know if you can I'm trying to remember. Can you get two pots on here? Maybe. Let's boil this up. Take that. Should be at two and a half. Throw where three. Good. Right, Twenty-seven minutes. All right, let's grab a. Uh, I'm taking this with me. <laughs> don't want to forget that. Let's take a torch here. There we go. Do a little searching upstairs, and we'll get some good sleep. We're ready to sack out here. This will come in handy. All right, search some lockers here. Nothing, nothing. Eh, some driving gloves, who cares? Newsprint, wonderful. That was pointless. Okay, that was horrible. And some cured leather, which doesn't really help us. Let's not fall and break anything here. Some beef jerky, we'll take that. Charcoal. I keep picking up the charcoal. I just need to drop it all. That'll come in handy. Another hunting knife. Uh, I'm leaving that behind. I don't need that. A line, sure, whatever. Okay, nothing good there. Some scrap metal. I don't know why I'm picking that up. Wow. Absolutely no good clothing or anything up here. This is kind of horrible. President set that bale of hay on fire. Okay. Well, it is what it is. They're out throwing spray paint at me. I could eat a 
course. All right, well, I guess, uh, let's throw that down. Set the barn on fire. <laughs> That'll warm us up for a little while. Then we'll be extremely cold after that. So what's the temp in here? Feels like 28. Uh, I think it's because of that burning next to us. So we might want to uh, take that with a grain of salt. And let's see if I can find anything in here without... So the uh, downloadable content that will be coming to the game. Have a new region, new new characters, instead of Will and Astrid to uh, pick up the story with somebody else and, and have like a sandbox, I think. So that should be interesting. Um, yeah. But what I read was the visors are actually going to be... <laughs> serve some sort of purpose so I'm, I'm well practiced on that um all right let's uh i just kind of want to get a drink get some food in me and then get some good rest and hopefully we heal up to uh close to 100 percent if i can do this right oh we got peanut butter i didn't even notice we picked up peanut butter I completely missed that uh let's see if we can oh that tin of sardines is poison i want to just go ahead and can i drop it i just want to get rid of it it probably won't let me drop it yeah, it won't let me drop it in here. I'm not going to risk it for that. I will eat the uh, low-quality energy bar. They're not nearly... It's not nearly as sketchy as, like, low-quality fish. Mass-produced and canned fish. So let's go and eat that. Yeah, we're at two and a half gallons. Or two and a half liters. I wish we were two and a half gallons, but hey. Um, let's go and eat some of this peanut butter. Just fill ourselves up. Rationing in, in this particular challenge isn't really that necessary so we'll just try to stay as full as possible i want to save that one in case i can find a uh, can opener then i'll have two cans to cook water in again we should be good with what we have hopefully i don't anticipate taking that long to get to the uh, trapper homestead or trapper cabin whatever it's called all right i think we're pretty full i've had pretty good meal and let's uh, top off our ourselves with a nice little uh drink here and we're gonna crawl inside of our sleeping bag get a little warmth bonus here oh I'm, i probably have to sleep about four hours at a time at the most because it feels it's cold but our sleeping bag helps out a little bit plus the car but even in the car actually no just the, this is sleeping bag because this is how it feels in the car so outside of the car it'd be even colder so if it gets really cold outside we could possibly if it, if it drops more of like five degrees celsius inside we need to worry start worrying about about getting warm again all right well it's not the most optimal efficient way to recover health it's taking small naps you're supposed to take like longer ones it works better but i just kind of want to see where we're at okay so not not much of a difference there let's just go ahead and get some good sleep then if that's the case hopefully it we're up around 60 70 percent by the time we wake up Hopefully I don't die of hypothermia in the sleep. All right, we're a little thirsty. We're a little thirsty, but at least we can see again. All right. Yeah, we could go for another hour. Don't know how much it's going to help, but uh, uh, let's see here. What's the temp in here? Still zero. Yeah. Let's uh, let's go for about let's go for about two hours. It'll wake up. We'll wake up when we. Can't sleep anymore. Should say fully yeah, rested. There we go. All right, let's make sure I didn't miss anything down here. I don't think I did. But it was completely dark when I searched before, so. All right, well, it's cold. Um, I'm going to drop some things that I don't need. Uh, I, I'm not going to eat those sardines. They're too scary. And, uh, yeah, that's all right there. Could tear these up and work on that, but I think I might do that. Yeah, what, which one are we wearing? We're wearing these. I want to... Yeah, I'll, I'll tear those up, maybe. If we get stowed in, like during a blizzard or something like that, it'll give me something to do. I don't need the charcoal. Don't need the fishing line. Okay, we're going to drop all that stuff. Honestly, I don't need the that or the stump remover. So we're just making ourselves as light as possible so we can run it as much as possible. Uh, okay, let's do it. This makes me nervous every time. And we need to get going. Here he comes. All right, let's just go for it. I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna try to use these rocks over here. Maybe. Maybe I can use this building. 
What we got in here? Oops. He's getting close. We'll run for this bridge. I wonder if he'll follow me down the bridge. Maybe the deer will go attack him for me. Oh, he's still coming. He's still stalking me, but it seems like when I turn around, he kind of slows down. Uh oh, there's a fence. Wonderful. Will he? Will he make it through this fence? Let's see. We'll probably just go. I we'll probably just go right over it. Don't fence me in. Okay. That seemed to slow his roll a little. Oh. Nope, he knows how to he knows how to go through holes and fences. Yep. Is he gonna come up over the bridges? Does he know that much? He's a smart one, isn't he? Don't run that way, that's the way I need to go. I think he's gonna reset that way. I need to go this way then. There's a town down here I'm gonna head to if he resets on me that way. Fingers feel numb. Don't worry about your fingers, at least you still have them. I didn't like how he actually ran straight towards me, but I guess I didn't really give him too much of a choice. Oh my gosh. Dude. Okay, I'm gonna use the rocks because that worked last time. Too cold to think. It seemed to work last time. All right, I'm gonna lose you, I think. All right, I see a town ahead of us, I think. Oh gosh, man, that didn't work this time at all. All right, we make we got to make it to this town. I can't keep I can't can't keep using flares like this, man. I don't know if running even makes sense. It's almost like you just stay at a standoff distance. It gains a little bit each time. Yeah, he's getting closer. Okay, that worked. He went the opposite way that time. He was about to do his charge. So, unfortunately, here's the town that I was trying to get to. Run, rabbit, run! You don't know what kind of horrors await you. Behind me. Okay. I just want to make sure... Yep, there we go. Re do a reload. Wouldn't you hate to be running from him for your life and then there's like that sign right or there's yeah, it's like locked up tight. Okay, we need to warm up, so there's my flare out there still burning. Is this gonna be actually warm or is it just gonna be freezing in here too? It's still a little cold in here, which doesn't matter once you start freezing. Grab that for a fire. I need some clothes, man. You got anything in here? Anything worthwhile? Take the stack of papers. In case we need to make tinder. Uh, take the cloth. Oh, I have to tear that down. I can't just rip it off the wall. Alright, well, so much for that. We're not getting warm, so we might as well go. I think maybe the town center right here might be helpful. Either that or one of these houses here. How do I get in this house? There we go. Oh, you can hear the wolves over there getting scared to death by the bear. I just heard that. Oh, it's four degrees Celsius in here. Good. We can warm up in here a little bit. Oh my goodness, goodness gracious, guys. We've got some fire or some matches. That's good. Uh, let's see what else we can find in here. It might be helpful. We can go ahead and holster this for now. We're safe for now. And those are some crackers that somebody left next to the next to the uh, couch there. I see a pot, a cooking pot. There we go. Some beans. Good. Not so worried about finding can opener now. I don't really care if I have to smash my cans too much. It's not good losing about a quarter of your food, but at least we have a cooking pot. Yeah, we got 
fire space. Fire, nothing in there. I was hoping for some tea. So I can drink that, take a little nap. Here, I'm probably just gonna... No, definitely not staying here for the night. Might move over to the uh, town center. See where we're at. Okay, we got some more water. Nothing there, okay. Give me some decent clothes, please. Are these wool socks? Please tell me yes. Hope nobody Are they needs good? They're 96%. Here. Heck yeah, they're good. All right, so we got some of those. Got some of these. We're going to take those off. We're going to put on some good ones. Got lots of socks. There we go. That helps out a little bit. We still need pants. We're still missing pants. Come on. This is hopefully going to be a good one for us. A worn hoodie. Not exactly what I needed, but whatever. Baseball cap. Don't need that. I'm going to leave that, even though it is cloth. I think there's another house for me Could to check. Up being used Dress shirt? I don't think so. Yeah, I don't think it's going to be worth much. We can reorganize a little bit. Some thermal underwear. I think we already have... We don't have any underwear at all. Well, at least our legs are covered. Okay, great. That was... Not the best. Uh, we got some toilet water. We'll take all that. Look at all that, man. That's what I should have just done. I should have just came here and got toilet water. That's, that's the way to do it. <laughs> we got some pain meds in here, hopefully. That a bandage. We'll take that. And anything down here. I take a winter parka out of the uh, the bathroom cabinet. Hey, whatever. That's going to be a six degree bed. And a storm lantern. Search this drawer. Okay, I, think we've, I think we've hit everything in the house. Um, yeah. Starting to warm up a little bit. I think I'll uh, rest here just to reset the bear. Because otherwise I think if I run straight outside he's still going to be kind of in a neighborhood. So let's just rest here. Warm up. You know, they had a pancake contest at Hinterland during, like, the team, like, it was a team building thing. They had a pancake uh, contest on their team, on their design studio team. And, it, and they put pancakes like this all over, and then they never do anything with pancakes. I think you, I think they have maple syrup in the game, but uh, let's not go that long. That's a little ridiculous. Let's go about two hours. We should be warm by then, mostly. Er. Now, I think you should be able to sleep in your sleeping bag inside the bed as well. Just like 10 degrees warmth bonus. But, whatever. We're going to hop around here a little bit in this area. Try to avoid the bear. So, we're completely warm now. And, uh, things are looking pretty decent for us. I'm going to go ahead and get the old flare gun out just in case. It's got three flares. Used two more than I wanted to. During this. Let's check this out here real quick. Antiseptic? I think that might be good. I don't think we have any of that. Uh, we're not going to get food poison. Well, I guess we could, but I don't think it would really matter. Let's shoot over here. Is this? Oh, I thought that was a mailbox at first that I'd never noticed before. There's sort of like a boathouse down by the river. Oh, we don't want to stay here. It's a little chilly. Get some crackers. Yeah, we'll grab some wood. Some easy wood to get. Uh, nothing back there. Nothing underneath. Yeah, this is sort of not really that great. I don't know if I want to go down there, though. I might get trapped down there by the bear. Down that way. Yeah, I don't think I want to do that. I'm not going to risk it for a biscuit. Nothing. Oh, that's locked. Okay, let's check. The back seats, nothing. Front seats. I see a candy bar. There's some more matches. Okay. I'm going to check this little farmer's market area out here. See anything worthwhile? Not seeing anything. At the moment. What's this up here? Driving gloves. Okay. Leather, though. So take that. I wonder if, oh, there's a house I don't think we checked over here. I wonder if we're safe if we're sort of in like in the, in the town area. I don't know. We weren't very safe at the barn. Probably not. I think me sleeping caused him to reset a little bit. I got a couple books already. I'm going to grab those. Oh, wow. We got a little fire in here. 
we could use to cook up some more water. But I think we're pretty good on water. Yeah, oh yeah, we got plenty. Because of the toilet water, that's right. So I don't want to carry any more water. It's just, uh, ketchup more chips. Oh, that's going to be good. That's a lot of sh sugary, milky goodness right there. All right. Being in the kitchen reminds me of uh, earlier today, my daughter and I, we, uh, that was weird. Uh, earlier today, my daughter and I made a, uh, some fried rice. She loves to cook. She's six and she loves to watch cooking shows and then try to make those recipes. So we did, uh, I think his name is Jason Farmer. It's Farmer is the last name, but he does, he, he does some really good Asian recipes. I did his stir fry, simple stir fry, and he shows you like three different ways to make it. That was excellent. And, uh, then we did chicken fried rice, and that was amazing tonight. I mean, it was really good. I had to do it. I did it exactly the way he did. We went to the Asian grocery store and all that, and got the Shaoxin wine and uh, MSG and all that good stuff. But, uh, yeah, it turned out amazing. So, if you guys are uh, looking for any good recipes, man, uh, he's two for two in my book. He's, he's been batting a thousand. So, I think it's Jason Farmer. It's definitely Farmer. Uh, It starts off where he says basically he went to like 10 different restaurants and figured out that there was like they used a blend of the two best used like a blend of uh, rice, uh, long grain and a jasmine, long grain or medium grain and then jasmine to complement that. So what we got here? Got another down vest. I don't think I can wear that over top the other one. I think it's one of those things where it's like only takes one slot in its particular category. That takes that inside slot. I guess it's inside. I don't know. Hope nobody needs this anymore. But, yeah, so that was good. But, yeah, sitting around the kitchen there, looting that reminded me of, of, of uh, good times with my, my wee one earlier today. Oh, did we check this thing? Oh, gosh, we did. Okay, well, I think we've hit everything. Yeah, just want to double check. Because when I get into story reminiscing mode, I tend to miss things. And I'm not going to bother with the charcoal out of there, obviously. Let's do... While we have a little bit of sunlight and it's warm, I think I want to try to do a little bit of repairing here. Let's see if we can. We can't wear that. Is the other one in better condition though? That's a worn down vest. That's a sport vest. That's not going to be nearly as good. Okay. What about this one? That's ninety four. Let's wear that one. It's not. I mean, the vests kind of suck anyway. But it is what it is. So that one's at ninety four. So we don't need to repair that. What about our t shirt? That's good. Our mittens need repaired. Our hats okay. Those socks could go for a repair, and the boots can too. Okay, so let's get these mittens repaired first. 30 minutes, chance of success 70. Repair amount, if we're successful, 65%. Let's give it a try. And we failed. Okay, let's try again. All right, there we go. So we're at 87% on that. I'm pretty happy with that for the time being. Uh, let's repair these socks, because I hate to lose them during a, an attack or something, but let's do that. There we go. All right, 100% on those. Those are 96. Um, we could tear these down. It's going to take a minute. I think it takes an hour and a half to r rip those apart. Yeah, an hour and a half. Um, I think we have cloth and leather, though. We should be able to at least try to repair these. Yeah, let's give it a try. We have the cured leather. 74% chance of success. We picked that up somewhere. I think maybe we picked that up in the barn, if I remember correctly. Upstairs, I think. Uh, 61%, that's better. And we're up to 5% in our warmth categories. But we're still missing a lot of different types of clothing that we need, like the pants. We still have no pants, and we could use a... Well, that's pretty much it. And then at least we have one layer of each... Yeah, we could use some earmuffs or something like that and another we could start doubling up at that point. So, alright. How's my how's my weight doing here? Yeah, we're we're running a little heavy. A little heavy. I think I'm gonna drop these two mushrooms. Got plenty of uh cloth. Let me go by weight here. Yeah, I really don't need to be carrying these because we have so much cloth and we can't repair that. Once they're X'd out, they're done. Sadly. Um I'm not going to bother repairing them anymore. 
65 percent is going to be fine so i'm going to drop those and yeah, we're close to being underweight and uh, we want to make sure we just don't if it has a uh triangle up in the upper right corner it means it's something you're currently using you're wearing so we want to make sure we don't drop any of those a worn hoodie can i put that on you got to be able to do that yeah yeah okay and make sure I'm not... Oh, we have some ge decent jeans. How am I not putting these on? Told you. I, I pick up stuff and then I fail to put it on. Yep. See? I wasn't lying. Okay, I think we got everything now. And those are uh, 89. That's 56. We can we can repair this one, I think. Probably be a good use of time. Then we'll get a drink and we'll just sleep here for the night. Yeah. Okay. How are we doing now with our... Feels like seven. Six degree warmth bonus. Okay. Okay. Um, we should have the oops. I didn't mean to do that. Fingers are getting a little happy here. That's a flare. That's what I want. Ooh, a lot of fuel in this one. There we go. Uh probably won't end up cooking or eating that. Well, maybe we will. Let's see here. Do we want to go ahead and start a fire and just cook that thing up? We do want to get a drink first though. There we go. Okay. Let's see here. I think I'll, I think I will. I think I'll start a little fire here and cook that up. I don't need to cook up the whole stack of papers because what you can do is you can break this down into into smaller amounts. You're basically using more than you need to. Uh, let's use the wood matches. Dish print. There we go. Let's start it with that book. That's a that's a good chance of, of success there. If not, we got other books we can burn. Okay, come on, baby. Big bucks, no whammies. There we go. Well, Good. That didn't work. Ah! Oh, I got. That was uh, fire starting hubris right there. <laughs> oh no. Um. Well, I'm gonna tear those up first then. Let me uh, extinguish this. Let me go in here and do a little bit of uh, tinder work here. Where are we at? There we go. So I should be able to rip these up into a four fire plugs. See if I use that by itself, it would. And I failed. I basically used four fire plugs for no reason. I don't think there's any percentage bonus to using the roll of paper versus that. We should be able to rip this one up into two fire plugs. That just takes a couple seconds anyway. All right. So now, now that we have the proper amount of tinder plugs, let's give it another try. And let's use wood matches. Right? Yeah. Five percent extra chance up here as well as 75 percent well, let's give it a try i just want to cook a steak should it's at 30 something percent i think it was come on raw but when we cook it it should uh, the condition should go up significantly back up into a safe zone and we might as well just eat that for dinner tonight it turned out pretty rather well. than just let it go bad so i'm gonna go ahead and uh put that cooking pot on and yeah, we'll throw that moldy venison in there and Rejuvenate it. 45 minutes, 11 minutes. We're going to need to add a little bit more. A little bit more wood. That'll help with our weight anyway. So there we go. 40 minutes. At, where are we at now? 39. 3. Ooh, it should be close. It's going to be close. Let's add a, another stick. There we go. Now we'll be above 45 and 41. Perfect. Yeah, let's go ahead and just eat the whole thing. It's gamey, but it's 81% now. So much better. Thirst is going down a little bit, but that's okay. Let's go grab a pick up our extremely hot cooking pot with our bare hands. Or I guess we have mittens on. We're okay. It's kind of acting like kind of acts like oven mitts, right? And is this the bed? I think this is the bed. Yeah, looks like it. All right, let's get some good sleep tonight. We should uh, max out, go back up to 100 by morning. I'm just going to sleep as long as I need to. Um, he should wake up. Uh, he's probably only going to sleep for about six hours, but whatever. Yeah, not quite there. Woke up fully rested. I get some work to drink here. We're not going to leave now. But what we might do is might go over. we might go over and explore the... Uh, we might head on over and explore the... The recreation, the rec center. So... 
Um, yeah, let's do that. Probably won't need this. I'm gonna go out. What I, what I might need is this. Which you can't see, but it, it's the flare gun. Oh my gosh. Okay, luckily I think I know where the rec center is. I wish there was that huge fire outside, like story mode. That just burned the infinity fire. I love that thing. You just stand by it forever. Alright, hopefully the bear isn't already in here. Man, let's get out our little uh, lantern here. There we go. Alright, we got ourselves another hat. I'm going to put that on right away. That's a 97 percenter. Nice. So we have a 67, 97. Okay. Good, good. What else we got? Anything in here? We got in here. Some more newsprint. We'll take that. In case we need to bust up some more tinder. Alright, that looks fine. I never find much in these other than maybe some newspapers, but... Said it a million times. Oh, of course. Food. This is the one time I find some beef jerky. So we do have somewhere we can sleep in here, too. So it's kind of nice. Not the warmest of beds, but it uh, will suit our purposes just fine. So we got some more water. Some work boots. Those are 66%. I think we're better with what we have. And we got water here if we needed it, but we probably don't need to carry any more water at this point. We got some uh, tablets, purification tablets. Don't need the socks. Yeah, that bucket would be great for cooking water in. My gosh, you should be able to grab that bucket. The thing would be amazing. Yeah, grab some cedar wood. We got a fireplace if you ever needed it. Um, these don't forget about these down here. These are always good to search. Easily, easy to forget. Um, I probably missed them a bunch of times myself over the years. And the trunk. Hopefully, we got some good clothes, and we don't. Of course not. Of course not. This is, oh, the six burner stove. Oh, such a good stove. Yeah. I can always use more food. Me too, man. Me too. I'm feeling the exact same way. I feel, I feel your pain. In this case, he's not really in pain. He's kind of got an abundance of food, so that's good. But we're not finding much in here. That's okay. I see I see a couple things up there on the counter. Really striking out in these cabinets, though. Like, whoever did the loot table just, like, took the day off here. Just left everything blank. Oh my gosh, really? Of course it's going to be nothing. Uh, what about up here? I don't even know why I'm bothering. Uh, I guess that's why. Okay. What about you? Last. Oh, nope. I got some more over here to try. Alright. Ugh. Ugh. Disgusting. What about you? Got anything? Nope. Look! More pancakes. More pancakes. Mm. Search the fridge. More water. I was all worried about water. Now they're like just throwing it at me. And we got some cabinets here. Or some drawers. All right. Any luck? I could use this. Coffee, some chips. Leaving. I don't really want to leave right now. It sounds horrible outside. So. All right. Let's head upstairs. See if I can find anything worthwhile up here. I can't remember exactly what's up here. Mm, apparently nothing. That's probably why I don't ever bother coming up here. Is this roof access? That'd be kind of cool. Can't get up there. Uh, back here uh, and put something back there if I was developers but I'm not so and that's that maybe back there too all right well I think we uh, just kind of bed down here for a little while what was this some more wool socks let's see which are the best let's do a little wool sock comparison and he's oh well they're not gonna be better than that no they certainly won't yeah 28% they suck all right, let me go through and make sure I'm not missing anything that I could be wearing. Um, I think we're good. Yeah. I'm going to drop those. I don't think I need to be carrying those anymore. I don't think I'm going to carry these either. Can't carry everything forever, you know. 28. And what I'll probably do is I'll probably harvest these up because that's really all it's good for. And we'll grab some sleep here. Top off our sleep, basically, since we got most of our sleep in already. 
and uh, kind of get through the the storm. The storm's a little nasty right now, so probably just pass time for an hour and then sleep for maybe two or three. Ooh, got worse. Weather's getting bad. And get a little drink here. You guys remember, those of you that have been with the game forever, like when surviving five days was something you go to run to the forum and you post. Survive five days, it's amazing, in Sandbox. Back when this first started. <laughs> oh, times have changed. When Mystery Lake was the only region. There were no bears. There were no mooses. And I think we're just sleep for another hour. Can't, not tired enough. Well, we're back to this thing where we rest, sleep, rest, sleep, rest, sleep, or rest, rest, sleep, something like that until the storm passes. Obviously, we're not going out in this crap. Okay. I need anything right about now. So just double checking. I think we're pretty good. Seven degrees warmth. All right. Well, let's see if uh, we can make it to the next house safely. Got the bear killing us. Oh, I thought that was the bear. That that flag moving threw me off. Post office or whatever this is. Trading post. Oh, here he comes. I want to be friends again. I don't want to be friends. Don't want to be friends with you. Not today. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Let me get down here and grab a energy drink. Go energy drink. I might need that. <laughs> might need it. Okay. All right. More condensed milk. Man, there's, I've, ne I've never had so many condensed milks in one episode. What's my weight at now? It's got to be a water weight. Oh, yeah, I got like a lot of water. I, I'll probably need to drop some. I'm hoarding water. Okay, so I don't think I need any more tinder plugs. Oh, I need a pry bar. There's probably something amazing inside of there. And I don't know why I keep picking those up. Because I have plenty of water. That'll come in. And I don't know if we have... Are we doubled up on sweatshirts? It'll probably be better than this. Yeah, let's throw that on. 30%. I'm going to go ahead and repair it while we're standing here. Maybe this will reset the bear. I don't know how that works, but... Of course. Of course. Of course. The next... You know what? The next thing I, I search is going to give me something better than this that I replace it with after all this. I'm going to need to eat soon. Yeah, I hear you, man. we got plenty of food. Don't worry. Plus, I think we have more in here as well. All right. Man, I wish I could bust into that. What we got in here? I'll take that energy bar. Yeah, we got a microwave. What's up here? Leaf store. I don't know if I really want to go quite yet. I'm kind of scared. I already got antiseptic. Don't need that. I'm going to take that accelerant. Don't need that stump remover. Um, there's cash money in here. We don't need that either. I think I but we will take this. the matches. And what else we got? We got anything up here? I don't think so. I might want to exit out stage left. Whew, I don't know. So I'm a little nervous. Let's see what the bear's doing. See if I waste enough time in him to in here to have him lose lose interest. I don't know where he's at now. More energy food. bars. Good. All right, let's go ahead and eat something while we're sitting here. That's the wrong one. There we go. I'm like, why is all my food, like, medical related? Feels like night 14. I don't know why I'm eating in here. Should, should eat somewhere warmer. Let's go do that. Let's go run across the street. Should be, should be a, uh, whoa. I think I need to sleep in here. Oh, man. That was creepy. Got the drop on me. All right, you're just going to sleep here for now, for like one hour. Hopefully that resets the bear. I don't know if this is, if I'm figuring something out or if I just think I'm smarter than I actually am. Probably the latter. Time will tell. Two days, three minutes, or two days, three hours, eight minutes. Uh, where are you at? Negative 23 degrees. Wonderful. Not even colder. Well, this house isn't burned down. That's good. But it's boarded up. What about this house down here? That's boarded up, too. Wonderful. 
Well, we got some cars we could seek refuge in if we need to. I don't really want to spend much time. I want to kind of keep moving if I can. You know what, I'm, you know what I mean, guys? You know what I mean? Picking up one of them. Throw one down here. All right, yeah, we're going to just keep moving. Sometimes looting slows you down just too much. I think that Go Energy was in my medical radio menu. So. All right, we're trying to make it to the cave before I have to end this episode. Well, kind of committed now. So it seems like the sleeping thing did kind of work for a little while. Bought me a little bit of time, like maybe reset a timer or something in this in this bear's head. He went off to go chase some bunnies or some wolves or something. Terrorize some other hapless survivor. There's our tree pointing us in the right direction. Hanging up over the road there, over the power lines. Looks like something the power company might want to come out and take care of. If there was power in our world anymore, but apparently there isn't. I hear him making a run for it. I know somebody else who has that exact same feeling. I might have to use it on him. It seems like he lets me get a little bit ahead of him. And then... Yeah, I don't really care about you right now. And then he catches up. And then he goes into his charge stance. I think he's going to go charge here. Make sure I am loaded. I think this will be the last one. That I managed to get away with. Okay, let's run up. Run it. too far. Did I run too far? No. Lost track of my direction there. So cold. Let's Just reload. Lay down for a bit. Oh, get away from me, wolf. Oh, you're kidding me. I'm going to have to deal with a wolf now. I don't want to use this on a wolf. Darn it, what a waste. All right. <laughs> Things are getting real. All right, well, let's make it up to the mine. Hopefully we find some more flares up there. That was not good, having to use that many flares just to get out of Pleasant Valley, but... Ugh. It is what it is. We got one left. It's like a Hail Mary. I, I think maybe I can... I think maybe once we get to... I really hope he doesn't stalk us in Ravine. Um, I think we'd be alright if we can use like the track, the single track. Um, I don't know. I don't know how that works. But... Grab some of these sticks. Well, we got a chance here. Alright, well we made it. Used a lot of flares. Uh, not thrilled about that. Let's just run it, run it in here, cross the finish line, for this episode anyway. Let's get in here. Oop, that's not how you do it. That's how you do it. And let's leave Pleasant Valley. Oh, yeah, like one hour into the into the show here. So, all right, guys. Well, like, comment, subscribe. Make sure you hit that notification bell so you get alerted when uh, the next, next episode drops of this uh, challenge. Hope you guys are enjoying. Uh, we're going to travel through here. Then we should be in uh, Ravine. And normally that's a peaceful place. At least I won't have to shoot flares at wolves. Oh, that was painful. But I don't know if he stalks us in Ravine or not. He might. 
And then we'll have to uh, sort of bounce through Mystery Lake and try to get it to the cabin before we die. But, you know, if he does attack us, we might lose a lot of our clothing and a lot of our health, but we should survive still. So even if that happens, I think we would still survive. I don't know. But, uh, yeah, I'll see you in the next one. Y'all take care.